Last week, we spoke about a primordial galaxy as old as the universe. And of course, that was found with the help of the James Webb Telescope. Today, we will look at another shocking discovery, one that you have never heard about. Let's get straight into it. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope didn't just make headlines. It politely kicked the door down on everything we thought we knew about the universe. For as long as humans have been around, we've stared up at the night sky wondering, so, how big is this place really? And every time technology levels up, the cosmos basically says, oh, sweet summer humans, you haven't seen anything yet. We were pretty confident we had a decent grip on the universe's scale. Turns out, we were holding it upside down the whole time. Webb's very first major data drop revealed an entirely new cosmic panorama, and in one of its most ambitious missions, it produced a single image so massive it makes previous space photos look like blurry selfies. I know this is a lot to take in, but keep watching. Enter the Cosmos Web Field, the most expansive and detailed map of the universe ever created. Spanning back 13.5 billion years, yes, billion with a B, this jaw-dropping image contains over 780,000 galaxies, all casually existing and collectively giving scientists an existential crisis. These galaxies are rewriting what we thought we knew about how the universe grew up. To truly appreciate just how colossal this new cosmic map is, we need to take a quick trip down memory nebula. For years, our best window into the universe came courtesy of the legendary Hubble Space Telescope. In 2004, Hubble stared at what looked like a boring, empty patch of sky for 11 straight days, because apparently, patience is a superpower, and delivered one of the most iconic images in astronomy. What it found was anything but empty. That tiny speck of darkness turned out to be a galactic zoo housing around 10,000 galaxies, some dating back more than 13 billion years. Every little dot of light wasn't a star, but a full-blown galaxy, each packed with billions of its own stars, probably glaring back at us in confusion. This single image helped scientists estimate the total number of galaxies in the observable universe, a casual two trillion. No big deal. But as brilliant as Hubble was, it had its limits. It primarily observed visible and ultraviolet light, which is great unless you're trying to see the oldest galaxies in existence. Their light has been traveling so long across an expanding universe that it's been stretched into infrared, like cosmic taffy. The James Webb Space Telescope, sporting its massive golden mirror like a space-age disco ball with a PhD, Webb was built specifically to detect this faint infrared glow. It peers through dust that left Hubble squinting and captures the ancient, reddened light of the universe's earliest structures. Let me put this into perspective for you. If the legendary Hubble Ultra Deep Field were printed on a regular sheet of paper, the new JWST Cosmos web map at the same resolution wouldn't be a page. It would be a wall-sized mural, stretching over 13 feet on each side. That's not an upgrade. That's going from postcard to planetarium. It reshapes our sense of scale so dramatically, it's like discovering Earth after spending your whole life thinking your neighborhood was the entire world. This breathtaking cosmic panorama comes courtesy of a project aptly named Cosmos Web, and it didn't come cheap in telescope time. As the largest observing program in JWST's very first year, it clocked in over 250 hours scanning a patch of sky roughly three times the size of the full moon. That's dedication, or in telescope terms, a very serious all-nighter. Thousands upon thousands of individual exposures were carefully merged, pixel by pixel, into one seamless cosmic masterpiece. The result? The deepest and most expansive view of the universe ever captured. A publicly available atlas featuring over 780,000 galaxies, each one quietly going about its business while simultaneously shaking the foundations of human understanding. No pressure. This extraordinary map offers a continuous timeline of galactic evolution, stretching from the universe's baby photos just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang right up to the present day, all in a single jaw-dropping frame. This isn't just more of the same. This is finally switching on the lights and realizing the room is actually a football stadium. Where Hubble once showed us a bustling city block, JWST now reveals the entire mega metropolis, complete with glowing suburbs, intergalactic highways, and the occasional cosmic cul-de-sac. It lets astronomers move beyond studying lone galaxies and instead observe the grand architecture of the universe itself. Vast clusters, intricate filaments, and enormous empty voids forming the colossal cosmic web. We're not just staring at a pretty picture here. We're peering straight through time. 
The light from the nearest galaxies in this image has been on a multi-billion year road trip just to reach us, while the glow from the most distant ones has been traveling since the universe was practically in nappies. Our first stop lands us in the local cosmos, a mere few billion light years away, practically next door by universal standards. Here, galaxies appear in their fully grown glory. Elegant spirals, colossal ellipticals, and quirky irregulars all swirling and tangoing under the influence of gravity. Thanks to the sheer scale of the cosmos web field, we can watch how these galaxies organize themselves into gigantic cosmic neighborhoods and superstructures. And then there's the show stealer, the so-called infinity galaxy. Two galaxies colliding so perfectly, they form a glowing figure eight, like the universe briefly tried its hand at abstract art. Even more astonishing, a supermassive black hole seems to be forming not inside either galaxy, but smack in the middle of their celestial collision zone. That's like finding a volcano forming in the space between two islands. Astronomers are understandably losing their minds, in a very professional, peer-reviewed way. This era, around 10 billion years ago, was the universe at peak productivity, its wild, sleepless, star-making phase. Galaxies were buzzing with energy, blazing with the brilliance of young, hot stars, basically throwing stellar rave parties on a cosmic scale. And yet, even here, Webb arrived with plot twists no one ordered. It uncovered quenched galaxies, systems that had already stopped forming stars, casually dozing off during what should have been their most active years. Imagine showing up to a festival and finding entire dance floors already closed. On top of that, Webb revealed surprisingly elegant spiral galaxies, complete with defined arms, appearing just a few billion years after the Big Bang, structures that our theories insisted should still be under construction. These findings suggest galactic evolution hit the fast forward button, unfolding at speeds far beyond what scientists had calculated. Which brings us to the edge of comprehension itself, the final frontier of this journey. Pushing JWST to its observational limits, we reach the cosmic dawn, a time only a few hundred million years after the universe first flickered into existence. And what Webb sees here? Let's just say theoretical physicists are nervously adjusting their glasses. Before JWST, our best models predicted a dim, sparsely populated universe at this early stage. Gravity, we assumed, needed more time to round up its cosmic ingredients and spark the first stars. But instead of a quiet cosmic nursery, Webb is uncovering something far more lively and far more inconvenient for old assumptions. The shock? A surprising abundance of brilliantly bright galaxies lurking at mind-blowing distances? The record for the most distant galaxy has been shattered so often it's starting to feel personal. First came Jade's z 14 a dazzling galaxy caught as it existed just 290 million years after the Big Bang. Not bad for a universe that was supposedly still finding its footing. Then, just to keep astronomers humble, along came Mom z 14 spotted even farther back in time, a mere 280 million years after everything began. These aren't the tiny, awkward proto-galaxies our theories ordered. These are fully glowing overachievers, and even more astonishing, they contain heavier elements like carbon and nitrogen. That means at least one entire generation of stars had already formed, lived, and dramatically exploded into stardust within the universe's first few hundred million years. In cosmic terms, that's like evolving from a flip phone to a smartphone before breakfast. The speed of it all is so jaw-dropping, it's sending astronomers straight back to the theoretical drawing board, erasers in hand. We are, quite literally, watching the universe rewrite its own origin story. And it's doing so with all the flair of a cosmic author who's just tossed the old script straight into a black hole. And trust us, you don't want to blink now. So what is the true scale of the universe as revealed by Webb? The answer isn't just a number. It's a complete shift in how we see ourselves in the grand cosmic drama. And that number? <sighs> Almost impossible to wrap your head around. One tiny patch of sky, a microscopic slice of the whole, and inside it, over 780,000 galaxies. Let that sink in. That single window alone contains a universe that isn't just bigger than expected. It's more structured, more mature, 
and far more sophisticated at an early age than our theories ever budgeted for. In short, science has a problem. <laughs> a very exciting problem. The overwhelming number and surprising maturity of these ancient galaxies are throwing serious shade at our standard models of cosmology. They hint that galaxy formation and the birth of supermassive black holes may have started earlier, evolved faster, or followed processes we haven't even dreamed up yet. It's as if the universe began sprinting while our models were still tying their shoelaces. This is what it feels like when your understanding of reality gets a full cosmic upgrade. It's the moment you realize the universe isn't just a big, silent void. It's a bustling, story-packed masterpiece overflowing with structure, history, and drama at every imaginable distance. For the first time, we're not squinting at faint red smudges clinging to the edge of time. We're witnessing a dazzling population of bright, fully formed early galaxies that refuse to fit neatly into our old explanations. They're not asking for permission, they're demanding new theories. And thanks to the single colossal image, we have become the first generation to truly grasp the universe's new, more honest scale. This scale isn't just measured in light years, it's measured in the sheer, overwhelming number of worlds and the unfathomable depth of time they carry within them. It's humbling. <laughs> it's exhilarating. It's slightly brain-melting in the best way possible. And perhaps the most jaw-dropping thought of all? Even this extraordinary map, the largest ever created, is just a tiny peek through the universe's keyhole. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more discoveries on James Webb Space Telescope. See you in our next video.